नमस्कार वेलकम टू साई इकोनॉमिक्स पॉइंट इन टूडेज लेक्चर वील डिस्कस मैथमेटिकल डेरिवेशन ऑफ ऑर्डिनरी डिमांड फंक्शन ओके सो फर्स्ट वील डिस्कस व्हाट यू मीन बाय डिमांड फंक्शन ओके सो डिमांड फंक्शन डिपिक्स द फंक्शनल रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द क्वांटिटी डिमांड एंड द लेवल ऑफ प्राइसेस एंड रियल इनकम ऑफ द कंज्यूमर ओके देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ डिमांड फंक्शन वन इज ऑर्डिनरी डिमांड फंक्शन विच इज नोन एज मार्शल इन डिमांड फंक्शन एंड द सेकेंड वन कॉम्पेंसेटेड डिमांड फंक्शन विच इज अथरवाइज नोन एज हिक्सियन डिमांड फंक्शन ओके इन टूडेज लेक्चर वील डिस्कस मैथमेटिकल डेरिवेशन ऑफ ऑर्डिनरी और यू कैन से योर मार्शलियन डिमांड फंक्शन ओके मार्शलियन डिमांड फंक्शन ओके इज ए डिमांड फंक्शन दैट मैक्सिमाइज इज यूटिलिटी विथ ए गिवेन प्राइस एंड मनी इनकम ओके सो यू विल डिराइव विथ ए गिवेन यूटिलिटी फंक्शन यू इक्वल टू एक्स एंड एक्स टू ओके वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द डिमांड फंक्शन फॉर गुड एक्स एंड गुड वाई सो लेट स्टार्ट ओके सो आर प्रॉब्लम इज मैक्सीमाइज ओके मैक्सीमाइज यू इक्वल टू एक्स वन एक्स टू ओके सब्जेक्ट टू विच इज सब्जेक्ट टू द बजेट कॉन्स्टेंट एम इक्वल टू पी वन एक्स वन प्लस पी टू एक्स टू ओके सो दिस इज योर गिवेन मनी इनकम ओके सो दिस इज योर गिवेन मनी इनकम ओके सो वट विल डू नाउ टेकिंग टेकिंग लागरांजियन मल्टीप्लायर टेकिंग लागरांजियन मल्टीप्लायर ओके the new composite function okay the new composite function z okay becomes x1 x2 plus okay lambda into m minus p1 x1 minus p2 x2 okay now you will derive the first order partial derivative with respect to x1 and with respect to x2 okay so first we will derive the first order condition okay with respect to x1 so we will find dz by dx1 equal to d by dx1 of x1 x2 plus lambda into m minus p1 x1 minus p2 x2 okay which is equal to 0 okay so this implies that x2 minus lambda p1 equal to 0 okay so this implies that x2 equal to lambda p1 or you can say lambda equal to x2 by p1 and this is your equation number 1 now uh, we will derive the first order partial derivative with respect to x2 so this becomes here dz by dx2 equal to d by dx2 of uh, the composite function x1 x2 plus lambda times m minus p1 x1 minus p2 x2 is equal to 0 okay so this implies that x1 minus lambda p2 equal to 0 okay so this implies that x1 equal to lambda p2 this implies that lambda equal to x1 by p2. So, this becomes your equation number 2. Okay. Now, okay. Now, from equation number 1 and from equation number 2, you will get, say, x1 by p2 equal to x2 by p1. Okay. So, this implies that if we we'll cross multiply this, then p1 x1 equal to p2 x2. Okay. So, uh, this implies that x1 equal to p2 x2 by p1 or x2 equal to p1 x1 divided by p2. Okay. So, now, now, substituting substituting the value of x1 in the budget constraint okay so we'll substitute the value of x1 
in this budget constraint okay in budget constraint the budget constraint okay in the budget constraint you will get that m equal to p1 into what is the value of x1 p2 x2 divided by p1 so put here p2 x2 by p1 plus p2 x2 okay so this equal to here p1 p1 see cancel so this equal to p2 x2 plus p2 x2 so this equal to 2 p2 x2 okay so here m equal to 2 p2 x2 okay now this implies that x2 equal to m by 2 p2 okay so you will get x2 equal to m by 2 p2 okay now see now again okay again substituting again substituting the value of x2 in the budget constraint okay in the budget constraint in the budget constraint we will get that m equal to say p1 x1 plus p2 into the value of a x2 okay that is p1 x1 by x p2 so put here p1 x1 by p2 so this one is can cancel so this is equal to p1 x1 plus p1 x1 okay so this m equal to what you will get m equal to 2 p1 x1 this implies that x1 equal to m by 2 p1 okay now what we will get therefore the derived marcellian okay derived marcellian or you can say ordinary ordinary demand ordinary demand function ordinary demand function for good x1 equal to m by 2 p1 and for good x2 equal to m by 2 p2 so this is the marcellian demand function for good x and this is the for good 2 okay or we can write x1 star is a function of a p1 m bar and x2 star is a function of a p2 m bar okay this is nothing but your direct utility function okay this is your direct utility function okay higher higher u equal to your function of x1 x2 okay and this shows that this shows that quantity quantity demand quantity demand and okay and price are inversely related they are inversely related okay see here x1 star is a function of p1 and m bar means demand for good x is a function of a price of that good and the given money income and x2 x2 star is a function of p2 and m bar means good demand for good x2 is a function of a price of that commodity and the given money income or the budget constraint okay uh, and on the assumptions that prices of related goods remain constant okay